Hey, Dr. Yerby here. In this video, we're going to be covering different Linux distros uh, made for forensics. So I found a blog here. Um, it's on uh, andreafortuna.org. Uh, I just really want to use this because it comes up with a list of six of the six popular Linux distributions. Uh, and then we'll go through them really quickly. Uh, so the first one is Kane, Computer Aided Investigative environment and so they claim to offer complete forensic environment uh, organized to integrate existing software tools if you go out there and you do a search on people's opinion uh, lately with when Kane 7.0 was out I was finding more people not liking Kane uh, I've, I've always been a fan of Kane uh, so let's go through the other ones and I'll tell you I'll tell you the other ones that people are a, a bigger fan of. Uh, so Deft comes up a lot as something that uh, a lot of investigators and people on Reddit and everywhere else on the internet seem to like. It's a Linux distro made for evidence collection. Comes with uh, digital advanced toolkit. Dart for Windows. Uh, this one is not as popular. A, uh, a appliance for digital investigation and analysis. So it's a VMware based application. So you should be able to download this as an OVA file and import it into your VMware. Right? And it tells you it's maintained by this person here, by Webmin. Uh, NST, uh, again, not too uh, uh, popular. Uh, the main intent of this one is to provide security professionals and network administrators with a comprehensive set of open source network security tools. So this one is a little bit more of security. Uh, hence the name Network Security Toolkit. Another one that will come up from time to time when you're looking into what are the different distributions available is you'll see Kali brought up. So is Kali a forensics tool? Not really, but yes. Right, so any of these are really just Linux distributions. And so if you find some tools that you really like in Deft or Kane, you can go add them into your Kali distribution and you can have a hybrid uh, pen test, that's what Kali is really developed for, pen tests and security uh, and forensics because there's certainly tools in there that can be useful for forensics. Uh, Paladin is a is performed forensic tasks like password discovery, social media analysis, data carving, Windows registry analysis, malware analysis. So this one is, is it's pretty specialized uh, but not a bad choice. Security Onion, again this one's going to be more security focused. Uh, it's based around intrusion detection, network security monitoring, log management. Uh, it's based on Ubuntu, Snort. Oh, it contains Snort. So I haven't used Security Onion, uh, let's see, in a while. Uh, it's got Seagull, Squirt, Explico, Network Miner. Network Miner is a really neat tool to go along with or in comparison to uh, Wireshark. Uh, and then you have Sans Sift. So this will probably come up as the number one uh, choice for many people. So Sans Sift is a VMware appliance. So you can either get it as a VMware appliance where you can import the OVA file just like you can for uh, ADIA. Or you can actually install uh, Ubuntu 14.04 and then do a huge series of not a huge series, but a series of uh, command line updates, and you can have, and download all of the the requirements for it to become a SIFT workstation. Uh, Pre-configure with tools to perform uh, detailed forensic examinations. Demonstrates advanced incident response capabilities. Deep dive. Yep. So I think the ones that you'll see come up most often are probably SIFT, DEFT, and Kane. So. I'll have different videos covering those different appliances. Uh, there's also another one that I have uh, that, that I like okay, uh, Santoku, um, but it's right now in a beta. So if you see it says Santoku 0.05. Let me see if I can do a quick search for Santoku since it's not showing up in this list. And Santoku is obviously a, uh, a Japanese knife. Uh, this one's based on Android Forensics, uh, I remember now. 
so yep still in version 0.5 is in a beta uh, the future making it easier for users uh, but they're based on mobile forensics mobile malware mobile security so those are our seven different options uh, for Linux distributions uh, related to forensics thanks